Pranav Lundana. We are 
are instruments of Lord Krishna's will, of his power, and all we have to do is surrender to that will. So, as I enter my 82nd year this October, I want to rekindle that love that I had when I was eight years old and my mother told me, it's only Lord Krishna, he's the only Purusha on earth that you should always bow your head to. But he'll come in many forms, so you have to respect him all the time. So respect is something very special in our lives as artists. Because we know that we are learning every day. Whatever we know, whatever we knew up until now, we know only that much. But there's so much more to discover, so much more to know. So as long as we carry that in our hearts, we keep learning. I keep learning too. I, today when I stand here, yesterday when my youngest daughter did her first Arangi Trump like Jamuna is doing today, as, as a mother, I was sitting beside her and I said, how did she learn all these things? I didn't have any time to sit with her and say, do your Natwantam like this or do this this way. They heard, they saw, they learned. And that's all there is to us. Whatever we see in life, we must pick up. We must see what is he trying to tell us? What is Krishna trying to whisper in our ears? What is he trying to show us? What is he trying to say that this, this all these things are not real? This is all, none of it is real. Only the love that I bear for you and you bear for me is the real thing. So how do we make it happen on earth? Is through gatherings like these, where we sit down. Do, did you notice how long you've been sitting here and listening to this music? Yeah. All these wonderful musicians have brought for us. They're all so talented. They're all so versatile. They also learned like us from their childhood. And uh, 25, 30 years, why should somebody spend so much time in one art form? Because it draws us to it. There's a magic in it. And it's an alchemy kind of thing which makes us feel better every day, which makes us feel healthier every day. Uh, it's not in the food that we eat, it's not in any of those things. It's our thoughts. And as long as we keep our thoughts pure and beautiful and hear Krishna's music to any instrument that is played around us, keep our ears open and listen to it. Open our eyes and see the beauty around us that he has made for us. My guru said, Saif says that we should never forget that all that we see around us is the machination of that Almighty. And He's always in front of us, dancing through the children, the little children when they're growing up. They sometimes wear no clothes and they're coming and showing us little dances and we're all clapping our hands and looking at them. When they grow up, then they're shy, they're clothed. And then layer after layer after layer after layer after layer, we are putting all kinds of, you know, unthinkable things into their heads. Don't touch this, don't do this, don't, 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 don't. Krishna never said don't. Krishna said, try it, I'm behind you. But I will not allow you to do any mistakes. I'll send you gurus after gurus to tell you what you should not do, but I won't tell you. Because for him and for Shiva, there is no good, no bad. So the art teaches us all these things. So when I was when Jack Blue was bringing me here, I was looking out to see there was a Narada flying by me. <laughs> <laughs> out the window, I couldn't see him, but I saw the clouds and I saw shapes. I saw Ganesha's shape, I saw the peacock shape, I saw Muruga's shape, and I saw Krishna finally. I said, Thank you, Krishna, for bringing me here. I never thought I'd be here a couple days back, but my youngest daughter found a nice ticket for me, and I'm here. I'm so happy to be a Rupa Kishori. Every item of yours was well practiced, and uh, you danced with uh, so much love and devotion. I could see that in your eyes. This is only the beginning, though. As you proceed in life, from when you were three to now, where you are, if you notice, if you look behind and see, when you were three, you were carefree. So you have to bring that carefreeness into your dance to make sure that the dance takes over you and then you can 
not bother about how small the stage is, how big it is. You just dance in abandon. The dancing in abandon has to come to all of us. That's when we will see Krishna. So, my dear friends, my dear beautiful devotees, you have all seen more of Krishna than I ever will think of. I don't even know if I've seen his feet yet. But I, I imagine and I pretend I see it every day. Sometimes they say pretension becomes a reality. So I do hope that you will all be very healthy, take care of yourselves, eat well, sleep in time, which I don't do, sorry. But I can't sleep because I'm thinking what's the next thing to do. So he's the one making me think. But it is necessary for us to take, us, uh, take care of ourselves so that we can recognize when he comes to whisper to us what our next job is. So I'm so happy to meet Jamuna's mother here. It has been a very, very long time, and I'm so thrilled, so very thrilled to see Urmila. Really so very happy to see you, and uh, think of the times then we spent together when she was about eight, seven or eight, and used to come to the Krishna Mandir in Michigan. Um, actually, today, at about this, what time is it now? See, we don't even care about time. <laughs> right now, at this moment, my students are dancing for Rathayatra at Michigan. Yeah, today's Rathayatra happening. And we was starting at 4.15, and we'll be done in about 25 minutes. They're doing Jagannath Sloka. Uh, Samitha is dancing there, Tore Mangalam. And uh, Sushila, who just came back from Greece, she'll be doing Tore Mangalam. And we're ending with Atilana and Raghav Behar. So Krishna, just bless them and take their dancing and help them to learn more. I also ask you, please bless me because I need to continue to know more so that when she asks me something, I'll be able to help her. And with all your blessings, we hope these children will grow under her care. And I hope Jamana also continues to teach everyone with the love that she has because to me, she's like Radha. She knows Krishna. Hare Krishna. This is Navanita Gopal Krishna. That is how his mother named him. Navanita Gopal Krishna. He is a stealer of butter. And he, he's, he comes, he helps everyone out, but he never wants a cross. He constantly is thinking about what next he can come up with. And we've had many years, many joyful years of working with him. Uh, my Vidya will not do anything without Gopal being there because she feels Krishna is near her when he's around. So thank you so much, Gopal, for helping Jamuna out. And Rupa Kishori Swam, I kept my word with you. I said I'd be here at her wherever it was. I thought it'd be in Hawaii, but I'm glad it's here. <laughs> I haven't been to Hawaii yet. I haven't been to many places yet. Because wherever I go, uh, it's Krishna who takes me. But you know what? I let you into a secret. If you go on YouTube, you can virtually visit every little place on earth on the spirit. So I'm enjoying that very much. So uh, yesterday I was at uh, Pandharpur, uh, not this week, a couple of days back when it was Ekadashi last weekend. I was at Pandharpur and saw these scores, thousands and thousands and thousands of pilgrims coming like rivers, like the rivers that they have in Pandharpur, two rivers are there. They were coming in and you couldn't see their heads or anything, just a whole bunch of people coming. Why do people rush to these pilgrimage centers? Because they find solace, they find peace. And so our gurus have told us if there are temples, visit it once in a while. Sometimes I'm not able to go. I haven't gone out in two and a half years. This is the first time I'm stepping out. Uh, I've already been to Orlando, I'm in Boston from Michigan, and now I'm here. I'll be going back to Orlando, then I have to go back to Michigan and come back here, I suppose. I don't know, but there's so much going on. So keep traveling, keep learning as you travel. Look for Krishna, you will find him. I found him in South America, in Montevideo, where I went to visit, and my lady who took me there, Gita's mother, she said, you're not going to find Krishna here. I said, what am I doing here then? 
if Krishna is not there, what am I doing here? I'll find him. And then they had a fair on Saturday um, afternoon, uh, Saturday morning. So I went there. I just said, let me see what's there. There was an empty table. And uh, there was an old couple. They were making some sweaters. So I bought one for my grandson. And I turned around and this whole table that was empty was filled with incense packets. So I looked and I said, I'm looking for one particular kind of incense. And I looked, nothing, no Krishna. Everything else was there but Krishna. I said, but I, you don't have what I want. He said, yes, I do. He turned around, went into his little mm -hmm. trunk, and he opened it up and he pulled out two of them and he said, this is what you want. And there was Krishna. One with a blue, one with he was joyful with Radha, so I was so happy. I said, look, I found Krishna. That is how you find him. You look for him. You have to keep looking for him. I love Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. Ram Ram. Hare Hare. Lord Krishna, please help all these musicians to continue doing their service for you. Yes? Okay. Yes. Let's do that. We have a certificate to, of accomplishment to present to Rupa Kishore. presents this Certificate of Accomplishment to Rupa Kishori Kerr for the successful study and completion of her Bharatanatya Arangitram debut performance with love and appreciation from your lucky teacher, Champakalata. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the other 